Hey everyone, it's Nate Johnson here from FlyPlugins.com and welcome to this tutorial video during which we will be discussing how to install and activate WP Courseware. So we've actually just gone through the process of purchasing the plugin. As you can see, once we go to the checkout screen for one of our Fly Plugins products and purchase it successfully, we are taken to a purchase confirmation screen. Now this screen is going to include a couple of very important details for this video. The first is going to be the license key. This is your unique license key to activate your product. I would suggest copying and pasting that into a text document or someplace where you can keep it safe and we're gonna need it uh, shortly just to activate our plugin. Secondly, under products, you can see the product that we purchased is a two-site license for WP Courseware. It shows the current version for release, which is 3.3. So if we click on that, we can download that version of WP Courseware. We'll go ahead and do that now. And then we're gonna head on over to our WordPress admin panel and I will show you how to install and activate this plugin. So now that we've logged into our WordPress administrative panel, we'll simply go over to the plugins menu on the left-hand side of our screen. We'll navigate to add new. Go up to the top of our screen and we can see an option to upload a plugin. So we'll select this. We can choose a file from our local hard drive. We'll grab WP Courseware version 3.3, .3, open that, and we'll simply click install. Now that the plugin is installed successfully, as we can see here from our screen, we need to click activate plugin. And once we do that, we're taken back to the installed plugins page. So what we can do is simply scroll down to WP Courseware. And as we can see here, we have a message that we need to register our copy of WP Courseware by entering our license key and activating it. So if we just click on register, we are taken to the settings screen. We can paste in that license key, which we received from our purchase confirmation screen select activate simply save all settings so now that we've activated our plugin if we head back over to the plugins panel and go to installed plugins we can scroll down to wp courseware and we can see that the message indicating that we need to activate this plugin with its license key has now been removed so the plugin is installed activated with the license key, now you will receive automatic updates through the installed uh, plugins panel. So one other thing we wanna take a look at is what happens if you lose your current copy of WP Courseware, the plugin, as well as your license key. Well, we're gonna head over to the Fly Plugins website and take a look at our member portal and I'll show you how you can download, at any time, download the current version of WP Courseware as well as uh, retrieve your license key if you should need to. So the way that we're going to retrieve our download and license key is simply head to flyplugins.com. Once we arrive at the homepage, we'll see that in the navigation bar, we have an option to click on the member portal. Now, if we do that, we're taken to uh, username and password. You should receive these details. You'll be set up with an account automatically up on your purchase confirmation. So we'll simply enter our username and password here. If you have any trouble logging in, you can obviously use the lost your password option and use your purchase email address to retrieve a new password. You'll get a link to reset that. So we already have our username and password details plugged in here. We'll simply log in. And once we do that, we're taken straight to the member portal. You'll see it defaults to the profile screen. What we're interested in is heading over to the download screen. We can see here that the product that we purchased was a WP Courseware two-site license. If we need to download that at any time, we can simply click on that file. That's going to download to our local drive. If we go over to purchases, we'll see that we have the information about the product that we purchased, the date, the amount. Uh, we can also click on view licenses. If we lose our license key and we need to activate our plugin, we simply click that. We go to key and we can copy and paste that and take it back over to our WordPress installation. 
Finally, within the purchases screen, you have an option to manage your sites. Now, once you enter a license key for one of your sites on which the plugin is activated, the active sites for that license are going to show up here under site URL. Now you have a couple of options. If there happened to be a site that was activated here, you could delete that. You could also authorize a new URL, a new domain, and add your site and activate your license key within that site. So this is just another handy feature to help you kind of manage your domains. If you have uh, maybe a, a, a development site that you're actively working on and you wanna shift that license key over to a production site, you can do that right here. So we hope you've enjoyed this video on how to install and activate your Fly Plugins plugins. And if you have any questions, of course, get in touch with us through our help desk. We'll be happy to take care of you. Thank you.